Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gordon Yip, the principal investigator of the Aerial Machine Learning Data Challenge. In this video, my colleague and I are going to tell you everything you need to know about the Data Challenge. First thing first, what is the Aerial Space Telescope? Well, the best person to explain that is, of course, the principal investigator of the mission, Professor Giovanna Tinetti. ERA is the next medium-sized mission to be launched by the European Space Agency. ERA is a space telescope that is about one meter size. It will be launched in 2029 in the Lagrangian Point L2, uh, which is located at 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. And from that location, we will look at hundreds of planets outside our solar system, what we call extrasolar planets. What we want to understand out of these words is what is their chemical composition, what they're made of. We want to understand what is their weather, what is their climate. And thanks to your area, we will know all that. Of course, it's extremely important to have a very performing instrument, but also it's extremely important to analyze properly the data. And that's where artificial intelligence is coming in. And that's why it's so important to have the data challenges. Now you're probably thinking, what has that got to do with machine learning? Let's hear that from Dr. Ingold Mortman, the principal investigator of ExoAI. Exoplanet science is entering an era of big data and high data quality. With the recent launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we have an unprecedented view of exoplanet atmospheres. Now the James Webb will look at 50 to 70 exoplanets. A few years down the line, at the end of a decade, we have the Aerial Space Mission launching, looking at a thousand exoplanets in high detail and high precision. Now our current data analysis techniques cannot actually cope with the data complexity that we're getting, nor can they cope with the amount of data that we're getting. So this is a problem and a problem ideally suited for artificial intelligence and machine learning. And in many other fields of science, AI has revolutionized the field and Exoplanet is no different. So this is why we launched the Aerial Data Challenges to look at individual problems that we have with our data analysis, our science cases and our mission design in the hope to improve current algorithms and our current ability to model this amount of data at that high precision. So each individual data challenge looks at a specific problem um, that we're facing and each individual participant therefore is actually helping to reduce our uncertainty on the data that we will be getting from the aerospace mission. The data challenge has been a major success since its inception in 2019 where we host our first data challenge at the European Conference of Machine Learning. Within a short period of time, we have amassed over 150 participants all over the world, earning it a place as one of the most popular competitions in the last three years of ECML. Our 2021 winner of the competition, Luis Moyes, was even featured in a TV program in Portugal. Este concurso, esta competição chama-se Aerial Machine Learning Data Challenge. In previous years, we have focused our challenges on removing contaminations from the whole star and the telescope itself. This year, we would like to focus our attention on understanding the chemical composition of exoplanets. Dr. Kanten Shanshat is here to explain how we go about doing that. Many planets are discovered via the transit technique. As planets move across the 2D surface of the star, they cover a tiny portion of the light emitted, um, causing depths in the light curves. The depth of the light curve is governed by the size of the planet and how uh, transparent the atmosphere is at the different wavelengths. By looking at the transit event in different wavelengths, uh, then astronomers can figure out what the molecules are. It's not just about the presence of these molecules. Astronomers can now figure out the relative abundances of these molecules so that we know how much water there is from which we can tell 
if it's likely to be a water planet or if it's more desert-like, like Tatooine. Despite these amazing possibilities, they come with a cause. Here we have Dr. Albert Awafai to explain the computational burden. So, atmospheric retrievals. It's a bit of a big word, but really it describes a group of techniques that astronomers use to extract information from exoplanetary atmospheres that we get from telescope observations. That can be things like temperature, pressure, and importantly, abundances of molecules that we're really interested in. The issue is, is that as the amount of data increases, the computational power required and the cost increases as well. So for something like Ariel, the amount of data that we get from it, it would take roughly a day to analyze a single planet. And Ariel is promising to give us a thousand planets to analyze. So that would take roughly three years for a single person to go through and analyze the data. So we're hitting the limit of conventional methods and we need to start looking into different techniques like machine learning to not only improve the speed, but to also give us better and more accurate insight into these exoplanetary objects. Our challenge is to overcome this barrier. Participants are asked to provide their estimates on six key components for populations of planets, including temperature, water, methane, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and ammonia, all of which provide us with crucial insight into the formation history of the exoplanetary system. They will need to provide a fast solution, but at the same time, with an accuracy comparable to the conventional techniques. If you're interested in joining us in taking up this challenge, check out our website here, here, or here. And maybe see you next year.